What's up everybody, Me Time Gamer here, bringing you the third episode of Elevator Pitch Review, bringing you the quick positive and negative of a new game in a single release. Let's get started with the zombie horde survival game, Seven Days to Die. Roll the intro! Before we get into the positive and negative of the game, let's go through the quick details about the game. This game is available on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. I personally played on the PS4. This game was released on June 20, 2016. Developer is The Fun Pimps and is also published by The Fun Pimps and Telltale Publishing for consoles. This is a first person survival horror game. The ESRB is M for mature. The modes that are, are available are single player and multiplayer, and this is a downloadable game. Now let's get into the positive of the game. <laughs> The game features a comprehensive and developed crafting mechanics. Building bases takes elements from Rust and Minecraft. The game offers a good sense of urgency from, ever, from hordes every seven days. There is upgradable skills with real consequences in-game. There is a lot of areas to scavenge, loot, and build bases. There is also an interesting biome system that offers a variety of environments. Now let's go into the negative of Seven Days to Die. Oh, shit. Shooting weapons lack accuracy at some times. Random lag spikes will hinder the game most often than not. Graphics could use a lot of improvement compared to its counterparts. There's a lot of glitching and clipping from enemies. There's also a lot of texture popping in the game once in a while when there's a lot of things going on. Final verdict for 7 Days to Die, buy it. I feel that even if the game has a lot against it, Seven Days to Die still has an appeal to it that pulls me back in. That's why I gave it that score. To get a better understanding of my review scale, please visit the link metimegamer.com forward slash review dash guidelines. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, follow me on Twitter at metimegamer. You can also catch me almost every day on twitch.tv forward slash metimegamer, where I play a variety of games from my collection including new releases and more. Thank you so much for watching the third episode of Elevator Pitch Review, and I will see you in the next video. Keep on keeping on.